Okay, there are three times in an NHL player's career when he can pretty much sob like a baby and is free from ridicule from his friends, his family, even his teammates. Number one, when he wins any kind of hardware, especially if that hardware is big and silver. Number two, when his career finally comes to an end and he's announcing his retirement, and sometimes even mom needs to help you out with that one. And number three, if he's lucky enough, when he gets inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. Now we've seen players who spent an entire career being rough and tough, shed all that exterior and turn into Niagara Falls when one of those things happened. Guys like Ryan Smith and Mark Messier and Ray Bork and Mark Messier. Or how about Bobby Orr? And, oh come on Mark, get it together. The 2016 class is headlined by one of the most physically dominating players our game has ever seen in the Big E, Eric Lindros. He spent a career making other players cry, but someone as big and tough and strong as Lindros has never cried before, right? Thank you to the fans of Philadelphia who supported us when we weren't so good. <laughs> we're getting better and we're gonna do it. Okay, maybe not, but Maybe he got all of his crying done while waiting to be inducted in the Hall of Fame because during his entire seven minute speech, he didn't cry once. That doesn't mean the night wasn't full of emotion. Lindros brought up his brother Brett at the end of his speech to share in his moment. Rogi Vashon, well he choked up while thanking his late wife and Pat Quinn's daughter Callie, but she had us all reaching for the tissues. As for Sergei Makarov, well they don't call him a machine for nothing. Now remember, Tom Hanks did famously say, There's no crying! There's no crying in baseball! I for one like the fact that that rule doesn't apply to hockey. I like seeing the emotions. And if you're still unsure, just remember one thing. Even the great one shed a tear. Promise mess I wouldn't do this. <laughs> <laughs>